I love recording acoustic guitars in my control room because it's a well-treated room on the walls and ceiling. I roll up the rug and the hard floor is nice and echoey, just enough. And uh, one of the ways I like doing the acoustic is this way with a mic in front and a second mic over my right shoulder. There's a few ways I do it, but I started out thinking this was going to be the way and I use two ribbon mics. This song is a song that started out as uh, just an acoustic song. And then we added uh, some program drums, um, some Moog synthesizers, and an electric guitar. And something else that I'm going to show you in a minute. For the ribbon mics, I use uh, SE Electronics uh, VR 1 and 2. I was liking the sound we were getting. It was really big. Actually so big that I noticed the picture frame was rattling on the speaker. Uh, but I also noticed something else. So the situation I have here is that I was using the ribbon mics and I they were a little bit noisy, which is how they are. They're all very old design and that's what gives them the amazing character that they have. But I'm always paranoid that my guitarist, Steve, who's my mixer, is going to be like, man, those are noisy. Uh, these are more modern. Uh, these are called SE8s. These are the Voodoo um, ribbon mics. These are SE8s. Uh, both things are made by SE Electronics. And these are quieter. Um, and so I had them right where the ribbon mic was, but it was because of proximity effect. There was no bottom to them. They were very... Um, stale and no just too much high end and uh, not really doing it, anything for me so I wanted to move them closer because they actually sound great up closer but I've been concerned about this phasing going on between here and here because whenever you have them in the same spot but slightly different it would be better if this was right here and so I just like recorded and messed around I think it's going to work. We might have to slide some waveforms in Pro Tools or flip to phase. I'm not really liking, this is not really my style, but I want to be covered for, um, in case Steve doesn't like the ribbon mics. Hopefully Steve hears the two ribbon mics and is completely amazed <laughs> at the sweet vibe, but just in case I put the these small diaphragm pencil mics in uh, as a safety because why not run four tracks at once if you're gonna play the song so mm -hmm.
Has it always felt wrong Or just recently increased You bottled it up for 21 years It's what you depend on Now it only interferes But we can come back So this is the other instrument I wanted to show you. This is a, kind of a funky thing. It's called a Fender Squire Bass 6 which means it's a bass with six strings, but normally a six string bass would have a low B and this only goes down to the regular E. So it's E to E tuned like a standard guitar, but an octave lower, which makes it a bass, but it's a little easier to play. Um, you can almost play it like a guitar in some ways. So I was listening to our song and I had initially put synth bass down. It wasn't quite doing it for me. So I thought uh, it might liven it up to put uh, some real bass down. Um, but then I remembered this thing and I had an idea to play it like a bass on the choruses. So like... But then on the verses, I wanted to see if I could actually play the guitar part as if it was a guitar, but an octave lower and it created a pretty neat sound. So I filmed a little playthrough of me doing this song on the bass six. I added in the acoustic from the original tracking and a little bit of the mix in there as well. So I hope you enjoy it. What you depend on Now it only interferes But will it come back? How long should I wait Till we tear each other apart? How long should I wait? Should I wait? I know you never meant to cause me Thanks so much for watching guys. Please subscribe to our channel. You can hear the full version of How Long Should I Wait on the new album from The Color Fred called A Year and Change out on all streaming platforms now. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.